Peggy 18. I'm in a dungeon. I can't see very well. Let's keep moving. Things are jumping out, big spells, fighting evil creatures, killing people, things are appearing and doing headshots, things are rising from the dead, and you're into it. Hunt is a fast-paced game with a lot of depth. We work for the Lord Mayor of Dyfed. We talk about telling a dark story, but uh, we wanted to make sure that our player was going to experience really diverse there environments. Terrors down there in the dark. It was just kind of, you know, me and Rob, our art director, getting together and kind of talking about what would it look like, what would the technology be like, and that's kind of the way that the game evolved. When we first started working on the project, it was important to come up with a style that wasn't as clean as classic high fantasy games can be. We know the place. I just felt like a, a true Middle Ages-like era it would be dirty, things would be worn, untended, and, and so things are crumbling and falling apart. We try to tell the story with the environment. The wear and tear, the grime we put on it, we try to give that sense of history. You know, you come into an area with, with ancient ruins of some civilization that used to live in an area, but it's about giving the world this richness and this life that is larger than the span of the game story we're telling. You know, there are different engines that people use for different things uh, in the gaming business. In this particular case, we use the Unreal Engine. Our focus going into this project was actually try to do what Unreal does best. Third-person shooter games and games that involve cover. And if you are you know, moving forward into landscapes and environments, the Unreal Engine does it perfectly. So what that did was allow us to spend 100% of our efforts on game design and graphic fidelity. Throughout the game, whether you're underground or above ground, you'll come around the corner and get these just amazing views. We want to have a heavy element of verticality in our levels. You know, as, as a ranged character, sometimes being up in a post is the better area because you can get a view. As more of a melee character, you can sit there and protect that area. Can you use a little help here. Well, this is one of the final areas. When we first started, we talked about doing a tower and doing something big, but it's been done so many times, and we thought, you know, let's do a giant pit instead. There might be a little bit of a spider problem down here. These big pieces of basalt rock, they actually were modeled out in 3D first, so it really has a very uh, sculpted feel. I want them to feel like they're stepping on hard ground and they're climbing up solid stairs and interacting with every facet of the geometry that's on the ground. We need to be at the Fountain of Alicia by morning. It's not so typical in a console game to be able to create your own world. I can't thank you enough. You know, what happens if I could build my own dungeons? And that was the, the founding principles of Crucible. What we allow the players to do is, you know, jump in there, grab these unique levels that we created, put them in a map, populate them with the enemies you want and the way that you want, and create an experience for somebody else. There's a whole list of, of parameters that they can put on, whether it's timed or how many waves of enemies. We just give the user the ability to be the game maker. At first, when the idea was pitched to me, I actually thought we are crazy. Those beasts are everywhere. So this team goes in there, and they're actually making the levels awesome. But what we ended up designing was actually a very cool system. When users fire it up for the first time, they're not going to be intimidated, and it's very straightforward to use. The Spark for Hunted comes from a, a lifetime of making and playing fantasy games. We have this tremendous love for the richness to the world. Find your feather, black every rock, every bit of dirt, every tile of broken pottery, every wall, every bird. It's immersing yourself in this world and this experience, the, the emotional attachment to the world. It's a roller coaster. 